Hey you, yeah, you, do you like mods? Do you hate wasting time? Well, you're in luck, because this is 5 mods in 5 minutes. Again, before you continue, don't forget to endorse all the mods in the video, and all the links are in the description for easy access. Okay, let's go! First mod is AK117 by Sabbath7991. This model is from the game Call of Duty Online, and it replaces the old Earth Assault Rifle. This gun has many different colors to choose from. What you're seeing now is the rainbow version, and the demo you'll see the gold version. In the early stages of modding, I appreciate that the mod fits the animation perfectly and I also appreciate that you could use this gun in third and first person because the sights align when you ADS. Good job and excellent replacer. Next mod is Doomslayer Spacesuit by Amaro. Creator of the Doomslayer helmet from two episodes ago, link above, he finally gives us the complete armor. This armor replaces the mercenary spacesuit, or if you want to replace the mantis, you could do that as well. And if you want to obtain the mod right away, the modder graciously gave us the console commands to get the armors instantly. There are different options to choose from, what you're seeing now is the green default version with the opaque visor for all you classic fans out there. Or if you want to try something new, this is the black version with the transparent visor, which is equally sick. There's also a red and white version in the mod page for all your demon, or should I say, alien slaying needs. Now I'm just waiting for the port of the super shotgun to replace the coachman. Before we continue, thank you for all your support. Please like and sub, and ring the bell for more mod content. Next mod is Star UI Outpost by M8R98A. For F2. Another masterpiece from the creator of the Star UI series. This changes the Outpost UI into something more user friendly. It's a much better improved build menu with separate lists for categories, buildings, and variants. You could also view all the variants in an easy navigatable list, and it's also smartly named. You also no longer need 8 keys for build menu navigation, 4 keys are enough. There are also new inspect labels, new crosshair buttons, and different colors for the build and inspect mode. And the good part about this is, it's fully customizable. It's compatible with the Star UI configurator, link above, so you could change the color, size, position of every individual widget. And this is what happens if you just let a guy cook. Someone cooked here. Next mod is Locational Damage Overhaul by Ixion17. This mod adds locational damage to creatures and changes the damage multiplicators for headshots and more. Changes to the multipliers are seen here. So basically, it's more damage to the head, less damage to the limbs, and even less damage to the boost pack or claws. There is also a 3, 5, and 100 times headshot damage as seen here. Holy Look at all this damage! This is an option if you just want to insta-kill everyone with a single headshot. And I think this is one of those mods that will be staying in my load order for a good amount of time. So if you want the placement of your shots to matter, then get this mod. Fifth mod is Show XP on Loading Screens by Stentorius. This mod does what it says on the tin. It shows you your XP on the bottom left of your screen. There's also an option to show the numerical value along with the percentage. Now I'm gonna cheat a bit here, so... Another one! This is Ship HUD Tweaks from the same creator. Now I love Bethesda, but why they didn't put the ship part counter at the bottom of your screen is beyond me. Now this mod changes that, and it also changes a few things about your ship HUD. Now you could show the true value of your shield health, you could also auto repair, it gives mouse inertia on HUD elements, and all of these are configurable. So that's 6 mods in 5 minutes, hope you liked it. What's your favorite mod? Comment down below, and I'll see you around.